Hey, what's going on, y'all? So this young lady from Australia left a post on the website the other yesterday, and I just did a representation of the post using AI to create the video. But this is the exact words that she left. And this is why I talk about, uh, I used to talk about relationships so much. You know, I, I wish that each person would put themselves in the other person's shoes and their partner's shoes and their loved one's shoes, the person you claim you love and try to feel what that person feels when you do what you do and how you would feel if they were doing what you're doing. If you attempted to do that, then, you know, the choices that you make and the attention that you show the affection that you show, the love that you show, the commitment, maybe it'll be different. Because this is sad in a way. As a strong woman, and it seems like she's trying her best to, I mean, she's working it out, but it's sad for a person to go through this. And it gives us a bad name and makes it harder on us that would actually treat the woman right. Because then you have, because then you have people who have heard the stories from a woman like this, and then their other friends get involved with a truck driver, and they go talking in in their ears about how bad truck drivers are, and that all of them cheating, all this other ridiculous mess. You don't care what impact it has on other guys, but if you think about it in a holistic manner, everybody who treats their woman this way it all could eventually come back to you because you blow that marriage and you get out there and you, you're dealing with other women. Hey, maybe that woman is hearing the same thing that is coming from something that you cause in your ex-woman's. I don't know how to explain it because probably you end up eventually meeting a young lady who is being spoken to in the ear by her friends or she might be familiar with this negative connotation, this negative mindset toward truckers because of that behavior and you're dealing with it. So anyway, you, you just putting that energy and that vibration out there in the world when you do it, when you do it like this. So, Hey, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what to say. Take a listen. I mean, none of us are perfect, but you know, the woman begging and pleading and explaining to you what's going on and how she's feeling. You can't help but <laughs> I am a trucker's wife of 10 years. The beginning of my husband's truck driving career was amazing and great. We loved and respected each other and I appreciate him. He valued me and loved spending time with me when he was home. I would also go on the road with him, loading and unloading the truck, doing everything I could. It was great. After three years, he cheated on me with a woman he was texting on the road. This cheating kept happening on and off for seven years, roughly. I kept forgiving until one day I said it had to stop or I'm out. He did get better and showed more commitment to me for quite a while. I found out I was pregnant after six and a half years of trying. It was hard because I was unsure of our relationship and in disbelief. But I persevered. He was great until our son was born. He started to be home less, and when he was home, he was on the phone constantly. In between that, his mother is a very clingy and manipulative person, which also put a huge toll on our relationship. She constantly interfered with our relationship and me raising our son. He works so hard, I understand and respect that. But, let me be honest, brutally honest, I have spent 10 years lonely. 10 years, sometimes crying myself to sleep. It feels utterly horrible when you literally do everything for this man sacrificed your career to raise a child, you do absolutely everything and only ask for a little help when he's home. But unfortunately, truckers' wives are very, very underappreciated by their truckers. Truckers have a very hard life, but do they ever stop to think about their wives and girlfriends who are doing everything alone? Everything? Do they think, with a child or children, how their partner literally gets zero time to breathe, zero time to themselves, zero time to find themselves after having a child? The moral is that it's emotionally and physically exhausting to be a trucker's wife. 
you will become independent. You will become emotionally shut off in many ways, but if you are strong enough and push through all of it, it does work and can work. I personally am giving a shout out to the truckers' wives or girlfriends out there who understand this and do appreciate their men, but just wish they could be appreciated too.